You can always count on a good one here. We're at Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, Michigan, and football is just ahead. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Hill from the two. Brought down by the kicker. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 36. Up the middle for a nice game. down at the 42 yard line both teams played that one really well but in the end the drive remains alive for the offense from their own 42 yard line first down tackle made at the 40 the option is all about timing and on that play the timing was just off that's gonna happen sometimes goes at the 38 yard line well this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game just looking down looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. so we're looking at another third down here makes the catch and gets out of bounds now that's how you run a corner route he exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. And, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. is the ninth play of this drive. Tackle at the 24. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. From the 24-yard line, first down. Quick pass. That's a great tackle at the 16-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Here's the 11th play of the drive.
He's hit and taken down. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's taken down right around the four-yard line. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established, and for such a negative play to happen, the loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Brought down at the one. So they pick up three on the option keeper. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Here's play number 14 of this drive. He dives and he'll be marked down. So the quarterback draw gets back to the line of scrimmage. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Unable to pick up the first down and the ball will change hands. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own four-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're gonna kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're gonna get embarrassed on Monday on that one. The punter will line up deep in his own end zone. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle made at the 41. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He tackles him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the 44-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Green gains about a yard on the play. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. And 
and they make the stop at the 33. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Mike 28. Mike 28. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they'll get him in the backfield. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. to the tight end and that falls incomplete. And he's tackled at the 40 yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's on the run. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 43. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 27-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So the penalty will make it first and 15. He fights forward to about the 29. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Nebraska could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cornhuskers are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Slings it, and he hits him hard at the 31. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And a quick throw. And down he goes at about the 45. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Nebraska's got a three-point lead. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's level at the 44-yard line. Gain of three on the pass, and that's good for a first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this try. Mosley takes it right side. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's off the crossbar, no good. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's immediately tackled. Caught open field. Tackle around the 38 yard line. Number 12 on the tackle at the 38 yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run.
Here's the give. Gets out to about the 31. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. Nebraska is up a field goal. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. What a play and that is first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Now let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. Here we go. Green and eight. Green and eight. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. the extra point a nine play 61 yard drive and they put up seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Hold again in two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game five on the play. That makes it 33. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 28. Ready. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. No game on the play. That brings us fourth and three. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First and ten, ball on the 36. Scrambling around, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers.
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Fires it out. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Henry, the return man. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws on the run complete. He's taken down at the 40. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. from the 40-yard line. First down. Get it on the counter, and they shut it down. Call the loss of five yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. down now and they need to get it down to the 30. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and he splits the uprights. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 10-3, Nebraska. Kim has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nebraska is up seven. He's in trouble, and he's sacked. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Spartans will use their first time out of the half. From their own 23-yard line. Third down. There's a strike complete. The Spartans are going to call their second time out. And they're coming after this punter. He really got a hold of that one. Got the corner. Henry takes it at the 23, and they push him out around the 36-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He fires. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. Here we go. 
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A five play, 65 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Michigan State to kick. He'll return it from the one. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Pressured and brought down. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice run up the middle. So at the end of the half, and a 10-10 tie in this game. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These two teams have matched each other blow for blow, just as we anticipated very evenly matched. Hardly any separation to speak of in terms of momentum or yardage gain or anything of that nature. So when you look at it, uh, what can make the difference coming up in the second half? Yeah, we see so many matchups, Reese, that's big box car, little box car. You know, this is big box car, big box car. And they just keep ramming into each other. And nobody's given an inch. And it's it's great on both sides of the football. And you like what you see. But at some point, I think, who's going to give out? You know, who can make a big play, make that big play down the field, make the big touchdown, and, and get the other team off balance a little bit? Maybe it is special teams. Maybe it's somebody steps up and blocks a punt or returns a kick and, and gives their team an advantage because right now it's just two heavyweights trading punches and, and both of them still look like they're in pretty good shape. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half.
All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Wants to throw outside. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From their own 45-yard line, first down. to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. So the toss to the halfback doesn't work. That's a loss of about three on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's in trouble. And he is drilled at the 41. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Fielded at the 19. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And down he goes at the 30. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Opening. And he's tackled at the 37. So it's first and ten after the big run. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's taken down at about the 17-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. It's broken up. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. The 10 gets out to around the 6. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Tackle made right around the eight-yard line. Now 
now he's scrambling. Room around the corner. And he's gonna run this one in, touchdown. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was gonna keep him out of the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Nebraska is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's at midfield. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Michigan State. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Michigan State gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 24. Turk not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and then come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Takes it left side and he's brought down to the backfield. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way out to about the 35. They'll keep it on the ground again. Brought down at the 36. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Here we go. He's on the run. It's on the ground. He picks it up. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 41.
Henry is back deep to return the punt. He's got the corner. He fields a punt at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out quickly. He's brought down in the open field. From their own 46-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here's a run. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. He's at the 30. Tackle around the 27-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. This is the eighth play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. That's a loss of 80 yards. That brings up second and goal. From the 16-yard line, second down. Mike 14, Mike 14. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. No gain. That makes it third and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at about the seven-yard line. That brings us fourth and goal. This isn't much more than an extra point. Michigan State is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Kim ready to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackled for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 20. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled at the 33. Third down. Scrambling around. The ball is loose. And the offense will recover. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Got it to the sophomore. And down he goes. Right around the 50. First down. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 41 yard line. Ready. Wait now. Oh, 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 oh. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. So at the end of the third quarter, Michigan State in front, 20 to 17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. You've got to wonder here early in the fourth quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. Henry, the return man. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Michigan State is up by three. Fires it out, and he's taken down right around the 30. From their own 30-yard line, first down. He tackles him for a loss. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Two ties, two ties. Go down, go down. Mike, 28. Mike, 28. Let's go. Green 90. Green 90. Oh, and a huge drop by the wideout here in the fourth quarter. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. He's in trouble. He wants it all going long. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. Interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. From their own 41-yard line, 
It's first down. The Cavalry's coming. Going deep. Lays it out there. And he hauls it in at the end of that long ball. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 30. They come out in a five-wide set. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and six. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 43. Got it and brought down immediately. And now he pitches it, and they'll bring him down behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Sweep left. Good outside run there. Carter comes away with around five yards on the toss out wide. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Five wide. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Here we go. And they hit him in the backfield. That'll bring up fourth and five. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Mike 14. Mike 14. Ready. Green and 
And he's level at the 35. Huge play for the defense. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Nebraska is up four. Fires out to his wideout. Coleman gets him about three yards with a completion. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Henry, back to return it. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 17. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. intercepted terrific coverage and when you clog up passing lanes like that you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions almost got themselves a turnover too slings it to his fullback and he's tackled around the 47 yard line that'll bring up third and eight third down and they need to get it inside the 44. They come out on an empty backfield. Green 88. Green 88. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it fourth and eight. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. For Michigan State, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This defense is still feeling the pressure of the passing game. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. This defensive unit has played with a lot of confidence going up against a superior opponent but they've still got work to do. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. The Spartans taking their first time out of the half. 
And so it's second and 12. Ball on the 24-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Here we go. There's the strike complete, and he's tackled right away. The Spartans use their second timeout. Henry awaiting the return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 36. The Spartans battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Off-balance throw, got him anyway. Tackle around the 39-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 39. Here comes the pressure. He goes downtown. What a pick. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From the 46-yard line, first down. Green gets the call. He fights forward to about the 43. Michigan State's called their final timeout. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop right around the 40. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. left the running backs got it he's pushed out of bounds around the 21 yard line a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver first and 10 ball on the 21 yard line and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock Come out on top, 24-20. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.